So, bonjour and hello. My name is Fabian Deutsch. I'm an engineering manager at Red Hat and a Qvert maintainer, right? And that's the role I'm speaking about. I want to speak about containers and AI, but not here. Containers and AI usually inspire us to look at the future. But I want to speak about virtual machines. They, on the other hand, have existed for a long time and need to be carried into some future as well. And with the landscape changing, we're looking at how can compute look in future. So we're at KubeCon, so it's quite obvious, right? With Kubernetes being the answer of how to do compute in future. It's already running containers, and with Qvert, it can run virtual machines. Everything you know about Kubernetes becomes immediately relevant for virtual machines as well. Nothing new to learn. So instead of having different platforms for different workloads, you can unify on Kubernetes alone, reducing cognitive complexity. So with this unified platform, you're able to benefit from this community, but also from the rich CNCF ecosystem. Now, a little bit more technical, Kubernetes is our platform for Kubernetes, for Kubert, right, for scale, but at the heart, we rely on KVM in order to um, do our virtualization, right? It's our virtualization stack that's been there for two decades in the open source community and that's been powering many other virtualization projects out there. Kubert itself is in the CNCF sandbox since 2019, and we moved to incubation in 2020, 2022. Today, Kubert is developed by 150 developers from 20 companies, and the platform, um, platform providers are adopting it as much as end users. And one of them is with me, so Mike. Thanks, Fabian. So I'm Mike Kanyak, and here to talk to you about the journey we've taken with uh, Kubevert. So uh, it feels like a long time ago, but it was at an event much like this where we first saw Kubevert being highlighted, and it caught our attention. Uh, I've worked on server-based virtualization for almost 17 years now. I can't believe I just said that. And over that time, we've seen a lot of products come and go, and a lot of technologies come and go, including you know, things like Kubernetes. But we do think Kubernetes is here to stay, and as such, it makes a good platform to build a future upon. So when thinking about what does a platform look like to run VMs, what is really key to us is having a strong, secure API. And that is what I really view Kubernetes is providing me. Hopefully you all agree. So it's funny here, being here on this stage at KubeCon talking about virtual machines. Hopefully you all realize that virtual machines are still a very useful and a uh, trusted form of compute within the environment today. Uh, and you'll find it broadly at a lot of enterprises. No matter how much people are talking about, we're going to containers, we're going to the public cloud. Public cloud, a lot of times, is really just more virtual machines. So as we move forward in this journey, uh, we have to think about what are the things we value? And so in looking at running VMs on Kubernetes with Kubevert, we're doing a few different like selections. One, we're, we're selecting to enhance our own skills, enhance the skills of our colleagues and also the organization at uh, a broad level. And, you know, realistically, based upon all the things that have happened over the last few months, this might become the coming out party for Kubevert and running VMs on Kubernetes. So what makes that work for us? Well, it's a few things. It's first the strong ecosystem that CNCF already has at our fingertips. So some of the key things that I leverage today include Argo CD, thinking about it as you know, a great way to 
manage our configuration broadly. Uh, operators, another tool to help keep the software that's running in the software that's running in Kubernetes up to date. Following on, leveraging the, the CSI platform to pick what storage solutions really work for us. Now, there's many virtualization platforms out there, but often they only work in one way. They require you to have storage that looks like this, networking that looks like that. The beauty of Kubernetes is that you can choose how you want to put things together and optimize it for yourself. And it's very useful when you're now really talking about putting Kubernetes on a bare metal platform to offer this back to uh, your clients. Thank you very much. Mike, so what's next? Kubert has been out there for a while. We're going through graduation just now. So if you have adopted Kubert, by the way, please step up and open a PR in our GitHub repository and you know, help us to get through that phase. We're really interested in your use cases. Um, we're working at, as part of that, we're also working at governance and we're trying to you know, look forward and continue to innovate in that virtualization space. As Mike said, right, virtualization is there to stay. Last call out, so come over and join us and talk to us about Kubert and why co compute should be in Kubernetes. You can find us at the Red Hat booth in the project pavilion and later this week on Friday, there's the Kubert workshop, which you will find in the schedule. Thank you very much. Good seeing you. And you're <laughs>